Hi Leo, how are you? I hope you're well. This is your December month tarot reading session. This is for Leo friends. I hope you're okay. This is for my Leo friends. December month love romantic relationship reading for Leo friends. Oh, you've got an Ace of Wands. New beginning, new beginning. Okay, for some of you, I'm feeling like you had enough of the past. So you're manifesting a new beginning. You had enough of the past who never reply, who never pay attention. Okay, this is for Leo, love, romantic relationship, breathing. What's the message for Leo, friends? Full December month. So I'm going to do a week by week. And then we're going to ask a th um, additional three cards for advice and final messages. Okay, this is for Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. Before I start, Leo... I really want to thank you for your support, your likes, and your subscribe. If you are interested to further support my channel, check the descrip description description <laughs> description box below. You would see the details of my Instagram account, my blog, and if you're keen or wanted to a more personalized um, private reading, check the description box below because you would see the details of my Etsy store where you can purchase the private reading. Okay, this is for Leo. I'm going to start soon. Just give me a second. Three more cards. Please. Okay, let's start off. You've, you've got here the um, the Emperor card um, and the Knight of Sword. Okay, they are thinking or someone is thinking. Someone is putting a strategy. Someone is stubborn. Okay, I'm not sure whether you or them, but someone is insisting picking a fight, making a drama, and the other person is just relaxed, is thinking, is using, they don't want to use force, harm, or they don't want to bring fire to fire, like, you know, they're trying to really go the high way, <laughs> they, really, they really want to be diplomatic, like, I'm really feeling like Leo for you, someone is trying to you know to stabilize their their emotions you know someone is about to be angry upset okay so if you are verbally challenging someone in a text confrontation it's not gonna work okay like you're just adding fire to fire because someone is about to explode i'm not sure whether that's you or them but they'd rather be quiet than to explode because this is the emperor and knight of swords so you could be in a situation where no one is talking, responding, but you could feel the tense, right? Like it's been two, ye two, two years, two months, two days, two weeks. So someone is watching you very intensely. They don't want to go for a fight. Um, this is a bit of a stubborn person. Um, they don't want to finalize it. They don't want to have, if, if you are dealing with close to breakup, they don't want to break up. So don't provoke them. Thank you, Spirit. Because you've got the Lover's card, the Ace of Pentacles. So I would really, really suggest, Leo, to be patient. Do not say a word you don't mean. Because this person is needing a lot of understanding. Is needing a proper stock, a structure. Okay, they're stuck. So they're, you know, I'm really getting like, this person is stuck. They're mature. But they're they are stuck and they are needing a lot of justification and structure for them to convince to commit okay um so yeah it could be you there's someone here who's coming to be impatient i'm not sure whether it's you or them but it's a bit stubborn impatient and persistence and insisting and the other person is like i'm close to exploding i'm close to really getting angry i felt like this is your person energy who is trying to be as who is passionate but who is trying to be patient as well to the situation they don't want to leave you but they aren't ready as you are probably to commit okay they want they want more justification that they could handle this like handle this with care knight of swords i don't want to break up with you i don't want to say something i don't mean i don't want to move on or break up or tell to shoo away but I just really want to understand whether I can handle this. Okay, like give me some time. That's what I'm getting with the Emperor and Knight of Swords. Okay, so don't be provocative. Don't challenge because I felt like 
it might boomerang to you because the next three three sets of card you know this one around second third fourth week of december the energy is really good so right now ground yourself just relax if this person is not paying attention or calling or texting you then manifest someone you enjoy life but i don't think they've left you they're still around in fact you've got a new beginning it could be from a gemini because this could be a heartbreak or for some of you they you break up but they're they still have an eye from you or you could have a disagreement but this person has an eye for you but you've got option as well for a beginning but when you begin there's an overlap overlap because i see here a lot of partying like you go for a party you distract yourself from this person there's a possibility that because you've got a circle of friends this person you would see them they would still check you out they would still have an eye on you i felt like you've got options in december to meet someone new and to still be acquainted for someone who you break up or you dated but it didn't went on okay but whatever however i mean collectively it's still gonna work for for some of you who break up and for some of you if you're dating or getting to know they would still be the same person who hurt you who would still be able to cheer you up so around the second the third week of december um it, it, it's a good strategy instead of being sad being lonely go out you know meet with friends um because I'm, I'm seeing here the lover's card next to the queen of cups which means like you know you want to manifest your soulmate your person and you you know it, the, the advice of the card is you know toughen up your emotions because this is how this is how love is in real life in real life this is love dating and getting to know um up and down up and down up and down so sometimes you are in the downhill um you could be sad you know but you need to go up again in order to meet up new person or probably clear your aura and energy so that maybe this person is coming back around because i'm seeing options all right from the past they're still looking at you checking on you okay ace of pentacles they're finding the right time or some sort of justification to say all right ace of cup ace of pentacles here is it stop crying you know in past person they would be offering you a beginning but it's quick stop crying here's my ace of pentacles if it's managed well you could be together but maybe there was a distance between the two of you because i'm seeing a very far land with the magician and the five of cups and the because i felt like the past person would touch base around they would be around december like you would still there's an energy around December with past person that would still be willing to work it out, okay? For some of you, you would accept it, you would, you would reunite, you would connect, but then you've got these worries at the back of your mind where, how am I going to trust you? You're so far away. Or, yep, we can start all over again, but part of me is still worried that you would hurt me. Or for some of you, you would start to communicate again and then the communication is really gonna go well but every time you separate you go home you fear that this would end there's a fear of what if it doesn't work all right so um yeah so you've got options you've got op options for someone new in a party um for some of you you're healing and that's where you meet this person like beach or camping for some of you um yeah because for some of you you're you're not emotionally ready but you will feel reaching out or talking or um or flirting with someone because it's such a good feeling it's such a relief that someone is hitting on you or liking you after a breakup for some of you guys and then for some of you it feels comforting that you know after you know after quite a while they're here to offer you the ace of pentacles so it's really good um you've got options for some of you like 30 percent of you guys the person who broke up separated disconnected with you they would be offered be, be able to offer you the ace of pentacles mid of december it's gonna be a quick nice catch-up date getting to know 
then when you separate you fear that you would disconnect because it you're gonna because i'm feeling sad thinking that we would disconnect again like you don't want to lose this person again that's the kind of feeling because you know november and november month this person is still checking on you watching on you so they would be able to really um do the work mid of december and it feels so good that you don't want to separate you don't want to lose this person again okay because after five of cups you've, you've got the lovers okay for past if you're dealing with the past now for some of you you would meet someone you you break up with the past or you disconnected or you gave up a person in the past who you're on and off dating in mid december you're very sad and then someone will would came along to you know to cheer you up to cheer you up and somehow switch you in the mood like put you in the mood like you're emotionally not ready like you're not prepared for this but somehow they're so nice and it's such a good feeling that to be back on dating or getting to know or it's such a good feeling that someone's around you who is giving you attention affection or wanted to make you happy okay so you've got here um leo um the um the sun card in reverse the hierophant card in reverse and the seven of cups in reverse so it could be that by you know end of december you might be confused and overwhelmed with two person um or for some of you um mid of december there's an energy that it's really going well and then around the end of december it 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 will kind of lay low so you will be a bit confused as to why they were giving you this energy something to do with worriedness all right that you would you are worried you worry that this person would be gone again would be gone missing or would not commit um so i would suggest during the end of december to focus your energy with family and friends okay because i felt like your person if they lay low don't think that they forgot you because the mid of december like i'm really sensing there's something about december month that you will feel happy and you trust that that was a very beautiful connection or talk or call or bonding or date so trust that energy that you feel okay because i feel like this manifestate this this three cards in here is that you know you like it's a bit of over expecting and overthinking that around end of december you feel like you're wanting more of them remember that they need to spend time with family and friends that's probably the reason why they've already scheduled to see you to call you around the first the second week or the third of december so that by end of december that is a time spent to family and friends okay so don't be overwhelmed don't overthink um if there is a delay that is fine because we are you know normally december month it's all about us and the family okay i don't think they're forgetting you there's a moment a moment a beautiful moment december time so trust that moment time call text conversation that it will be imprinted something something with you a person something a, a, a conversation a date a text a call it's gonna be a beautiful moment that you you and your person will not forget okay it, it's pretty strong that um if, if there was a slowdown in terms of call text or seeing each other that is fine because you've got something invested you've invested or you have imprinted with this person okay so in short these three cards don't manifest worry because the sun card is here is in reverse like it's overwhelming take one at a time right one at a time emotions one at a time thought and enjoy um enjoy the time with family and friends okay so yeah i really sense that this is just a setback and i felt like for some of you this is a manifestation of your worries concerns so um it's more of cherish the moment trust that what you shared even though it's a slightest simple conversation call or text it is something beautiful that they won't forget that this energy that you put into them it would carry on in 2020 okay so there's gonna be an op an, an option for you to meet someone new and to connect in the past um 
what else yeah it's a beautiful reading especially around the mid month of december mid month of december you're sad and suddenly you got the ace of pentacles and then you've got the the lovers card so these two cards counter your sadness or breakup energy or overthinking some sort of assurance for some of you it's an overlap okay an ex came back and the new person came along so an overlap so it's really interesting that probably by end of december you feel like you're empty because you've got this beautiful um two cards in here like the first three weeks of december it's really or some beautiful event or, or love opportunity around december month is there and then by end of december you felt like none of them are calling or texting you or you feel like it's empty <laughs> i don't have a customer <laughs> It's, it's it's they're just working out something okay and, it, and i felt like the energy it's that you know the universe is telling you okay you've got the lovers you've got the ace of pentacles now it's time for you to manifest to take care of yourself family and friend okay sometimes you gotta break up with love okay so that you have to tune in with yourself and with other relationship you've got friends colleague and family okay so this is you thank you so much leo for um for watching my channel uh for supporting my channel don't forget to click like subscribe and do don't forget to click as well the notification bell i will see you soon around and have a great day bye bye